Ah, fudge, my game is somehow frozen or something. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know when the last time I saved is. Oh my god, this sucks. Hello everybody, my name is Dark Robin Egg and welcome back to Space Engineers. Yeah, every time I look at this thing, I can't help but admire its beauty, its passion, its power. Ah, oh, praise the dropship. Um. <laughs> well, I loaded in. Those thrusters were like right above my head. About uh, I'll try and move in. So about here or something like that uh, but I didn't realize what I was looking at I'm like why the hell are these giant things above my head what the hell are they doing there why are they there what is my game glitching I'm like oh yeah <laughs> so derp <laughs> uh, anyway what do we do in this episode not entirely sure I mean right now I just want these things built so I'm kind of don't exactly have many choices I mean I could come on in my spare time and let them build on their own, but you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm annoyed with myself that I've done that a few times already. Yeah, I want to kind of not do that too often. It's a bit frustrating that I've done that with a couple things beforehand. So yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, updates. Uh, well, there's supposed to be an update tonight. I do not know what it will be. Um, hopefully it's a major mod. Um, wait, a major mod? I mean, a major update. Knowing our luck, it probably isn't. But hey, you never know, those hydrogen generators might finally become available. That'd be cool. <laughs> or those, uh, wind solar generator thingy majikis. That would also be cool. I um, mean, some more, uh, help for the solar panels. That'd be freaking awesome. But, um, what I meant by update is one, uh, give me a second. One, uh, Zor, Z-O-A-R, asked me to, uh, ask me what the mods I use in this are. Um, so I haven't replied to you yet. I've been sick and stuff the last few days and really busy. Just a lot of sleeping and stuff trying to, you know, not be sick. But, you know, despite being sick, I've still managed to cram out videos because of the fact that I already had them pre-recorded. Right now, I'm basically forcing myself to record this despite the fact that I feel like I'm going to throw up because... Because, you know, I'm kind of running out of recordings. <laughs> so, um, you, you asked for the list of mods? I guess I should do that. I mean, I, pro I think I might have done that originally and then I kind of stopped doing that because I forgot. It might take a little bit because, you know, a hundred mods is going to take a while to get through. <laughs> it's not a small amount of mods, but hey, I'm sure I'll eventually get through them. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, hopefully that list won't take too long to get up. Yes, hopefully it won't. Um, oh, another one is uh, that planetary installation mod, I think it's called. I want to install it. At the same time, you know, the whole bad luck with the flying ships causing my thing to slow down. I kind of want to install it, but at the same time, I do not want another CPU slow down because, you know, too many things on map. Perhaps if I got myself a new CPU, that might do the trick, but it could be months before I get myself a new CPU because I'm looking at the, you know, the new, uh, the new, uh, Coffee Lake, uh, 8 700 because you know that's gonna really improve my uh, video encoding times oh my god that'll improve my video encoding times I just can't afford that right now I gotta save up money and stuff so I just gotta basically wait before I can afford a new CPU but if I can afford a new CPU eventually then that should really also not only help with my video encoding but also basically mean that I can add more ships to the world as in you know the planetary installation and that should mean less slowdown. So yeah, in all honesty, I have no idea how accurate that statement is because sometimes it's very hard to predict how well this game runs. Uh, uh Geo was mentioning everything is fine with the ship. He, 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 he has no problem with me messing with it. So yeah, that's good, that's good. Uh, it's like, that was a big worry. I was worried that I was like, taking advantage of his kindness and stuff like that, but luckily he's not angry with me or anything. <laughs> Please don't kill me, sir! <laughs> uh, not really sure what I'm doing with myself today, like I said. This is more of a... 
This is more of a, let's see what I can do and maybe I'll think of something to do while I'm at it. Right, let's see about getting things built and maybe I might think of something to do while I'm at it. You know, something like that. I was like, eh, if this is taking a sweet time to build, well, let's speed it up then, shall we? Because if I remember correctly, this needs two nanites per block. It needs the uh, repair nanites and it needs the projector nanites. So that means for every block that is, well, still a projector block, it needs to be passed through two times. So I'm hoping by running along it with my uh, cursor right now, like I'm doing, just even if I'm not even constructing these blocks, I'm just leaving them there basically unfinished, it means I'll only need one, uh, one nanite stream, which will mean that it will go, you know, I'm basically cutting my construction time in half. So instead of needing two streams, it only needs one. Anyway, that's my hope. I don't know how accurate that is. I mean, I'm not the I'm not the mod author, you know what I mean? I I don't know exactly what they've done. All I'm going on by is my knowledge on what it says on the on the description and hoping for the best. <laughs> So may maybe this is speeding me up. Maybe it's not speeding me up. I don't know. Uh, hopefully it is. I mean, I am popping up a whole bunch of them. And if worse comes to worse, I can always race along uh, and build them myself too. Mini, 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 steel plates. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, am I already? Out? Oh, I am out of steel plates, aren't I? Here I was not even paying attention to what it says. <laughs> Can't believe I already chewed up 200. That's so quick. Dink, dink, dink. There, let's take 400 this time. See how quickly I can chew through that. Boom. Oh, I, I've really... <laughs> I've really done myself in lately on my channel. <laughs> the problem is there's so many games available within the last couple of weeks. It's like Cuphead, Steamworld Dig, um, Golf Story, which is something I've been looking forward to. Uh, what else we got? We got my normal videos. Uh, there were some other ones that have also just been released, but I suddenly can't remember the names of. But you get the point though, right? There's a lot of games that have just come out or coming out, and I, I'm pushing myself to play through them and record them, and oh my god, is it a nightmare. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really, <laughs> uh, like I'm really going at it at the moment. Luckily, for games like Cuphead and Steam Digworld and stuff like that are actually rather easy to do because I can do, well, long recording sessions, split them up into like multiple short videos like I've been doing with, that don't need too much editing because they're, well, the whole thing is gameplay. It's not like I'm scrapping a lot of useless footage. It's the, uh, the bigger games that, you know, have a lot of dead footage that really take time. Sort of like Prey and stuff like that. And at the moment I'm t uh, taking hold on Prey because even though I want to keep playing it, no one's watching it. So I'm like, i got so much other stuff to do, I can just, you know, take it, uh, take it easy on Prey. It's like, uh, not like anyone's missing it. <laughs> oh, another game that... <laughs> Another game uh, I'm dreading that should be updated any hour now is Oxygen Not Included. I've held off playing that for months because, you know, it. They, uh, months when I stopped playing, they said the update was imminent. It never came out till like four, five, six weeks ago. That was the viral update. So it's like what should have been available months ago wasn't. But now, you know, uh, when the viral update came out, I'm like, eh, that's not impressive. And there's so many complaints about it. I'll hold off on it. I only uh, find out that they released oil update a few weeks later, so now I've been waiting for the oil update to be released, and that should be released within a few hours. So I'm like, oh, well, back to uh, oxygen not included. I love that game. <laughs> so yes, that's another big ticket game that's going to take a lot of editing. You know what I mean, like um, an hour or two of recording and cutting it down to like half an hour of footage is—it's going to be scary. <laughs> 
Uh, I really, really do myself in. But uh, like I, uh, like I've said in the past, I really enjoy this. Oh, those wheels are touching. Touch the tips. Touch the tips. Uh, I think, I think most of the work underneath is done. I'm gonna have to go on top. But hey, that sped up construction quite a bit. I managed to pop in a lot of easy frames. Uh, I think that, yeah, I think it might be speeding up construction by me doing that. With a little luck at this pace, it might actually be done very quickly. Then I can move on to the thing that I really want to work on, because I want to get that blue ship moving. You know what? I miss the days when this game was updated, or like had major updates every week. Like every week you'd have a new, a new item added into the game. That was, that was awesome. It's like, this game was so awesome when it, when it did that. I mean, not that it's not still awesome, it's still fun to play, but... Back then, it, every week felt like Christmas, you know? You'd sit on, uh, sit on YouTube waiting for the update to release. It's like, what are we getting this time? What are we getting this time? Oh, batteries! Oh, solar panels! Oh, this! Oh, that! It was like, it was like Christmas every week! And now it's like, uh, it's another update. Uh, it's another bug fix. Uh, there's no video. Uh, boring. Uh, give us something good, please! I miss the good stuff, Keen. Where is the good stuff? I love thee! <laughs> Why do you keep all the crack cocaine in the cupboard and not bring it out for the rest of us? <laughs> no, that, that's, that's what updates are like these days, right? <laughs> what sort of crazy maniacs put thrusters on some sort of vi land vehicle? That's just silly. Do you think this is Mass Effect? What do we got? Nickel, magnesium... Not that guns wouldn't be cool, but, you know, kind of don't have a need for guns, so, nah. Maybe if I was out in space, you know, exploring, because I have the exploration mod turned on, that might be a good thing, but I currently don't have it. So nice having working inertial depth. Wait, what? What? Where is it? Uranium. It's 90 meters deep. I don't think it's worth the trouble. Because I still feel like one of my patches has uranium in it, I'm just not sure which one. I think it may be gold, or maybe that one I'm near. I'm not sure. Everything is so tiny from up here. And when you're on the ground, everything is so huge, but when you're in the sky, everything is so tiny, it's kind of amazing the, uh, the sheer scale of this game. Like from here, it feels like, you know, it's barely a walk, to, uh, walk uh, from here to all the way over there. But in actuality, it's quite some distance. The only real problem with scale is space, because you just don't go fast enough. And they don't really have a solution for it either. Yeah, warp drives are great and all that, but... Eh. Just not the same as going at proper space speeds. Yeah, I knew I had uranium around here somewhere. Wee, where is it? I want to land and uh, see it mid-flight. Far out, that falls quickly. No wonder why they uh, go so quickly to the ground. Parachute must be like a last second deploy. Yeah, a literal last second deploy. Far out. Those parachutes are stronger than I thought they were. I had no idea they had so much stopping power. I may not have ta uh, used my landing pad for a while, but it's pretty cool now that I am using it. It's pretty cool. Oh, oh, oh! Did you see the new elevator mod? I think, I'm pretty sure it's made by the same guys that made these elevators I'm currently using. It allows you to do, like, unlimited floor height by the look of it. Uh. So long as you know how to actually install it, it looks so awesome. I'm like, ooh, that could have been useful for when I had things that were taller than I would have liked and stuff like that. 
and allows you to stop off at each floor so you don't need multiple elevators. You only need one elevator. It was so awesome. Uh, uranium. 114. Didn't I have 200 in here? D did I use that all? What did I use it on? It's kind of scary. Holy crap, look how quickly I'm using it. No wonder why it all went away in a flash. Let's see those batteries, how well they're doing. I think I am going to have to build that new tower of gold gold solar panels that I said I w was thinking of building. I think that's the only way I'm going to be able to keep my power up and running, but it's turning night time soon. Even if I build it now, I don't know if power's going to last through the night, not with how quickly I'm using power. I didn't have power problems beforehand because, you know, the whole... The whole, uh... I wasn't using my, uh... I wasn't using my, uh... My... My... Nanite factory that often. But this small ship is just chewing up my Nanite factory something fierce, you know what I mean? My Nanite factory just can't build fast enough and so the power is... Really bad. I didn't realize it's going to be this bad. Uh, yeah, power is not going good. Luckily though, a second tower doesn't look like I'll have too much hassle building. I could just basically connect on this. I mean, I already have all the construction to go out here. I only have to dig it slightly further away. Um, I think because sun rolls up that way, I won't have them in front of each other, otherwise they'll be blocking each other. I want it side to side. So I want it that way. Um, how would I go about doing this? I guess I'll just go remove that. Uh, do and color. So we go, boop, doot, 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 doot. I hope this doesn't cause any problems from being like too far away from my base or anything like that. Cool, it is building. I don't, all the way to the end, yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, I don't think I've done, I've popped it out far enough though. Cause look at that angle on it. It's quite far out, isn't it? That is... How far would you say that is? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... What do you mean? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... I'd say 13, so I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's how far out I need to start building it. Jeez. Sucks to be me. So, night time's rolled out, just like I said it would. Bugger me, but this solar panel is not going to be any use for me. Not until next day. Sucks to be me, eh? Ah, fudge, my game is somehow frozen or something. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know when the last time I saved is. Oh my god, this sucks. Uh, technically it's running. It's just in some sort of loop and it can't unstick itself. How do I unstick it from this loop? Pushing everything doesn't seem to work. It's not responding, I'm gonna have to quit. <sighs> so, it looks like my save was to just before I flew off. That sucks, Scrotum. Ugh. But, um... It's just not much I can do about it, is there? Not really. Uh, I mean... I, I could go back over there and restart again, but... 
As I said, sun's about to go down. You guys saw it going down beforehand, or at least I, I think you did. I mean, I might have cut it out in the footage. I don't know. But I've, I've been cutting out a lot more these days because, you know, I just feel like there's a lot more dead footage. Or maybe I'm just, you know, getting better at editing. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Anyway, you know, I don't think I need to... I don't think I shall do that now. I'll just do it after, maybe after this episode's done or something like that, because, you know, it's not that much effort, but at the same time, you know, could be doing other stuff, like attempting to figure out how to speed this construction up, or something like that. But well, considering how bloody quickly it was building over there, I wonder, would this thing build quicker than this thing? Like, maybe I should give it a try. All right, let's go, uh... Uh, steel plates. Ooh, I don't want those. So we'll grab this. And now we will go, um... Would be the perfect spot to place it. Go do it. Doink. 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 And... Ta-da! Uh, uh, yeah. We'll see how quickly that takes to build. Although the more I build, the quicker it will go. Because you know, more points for the nanite to work with. Maybe I should help it along or something like that. I know if, uh, it seems to prioritize that. Maybe because it's connected to my base. I don't know. But hey, let's give it a try. Let's see how fast I can build that. I mean, I'm sure it'll go a lot quicker than the other one. The, uh, the raid has been building for some strange reason. If I go, if I go, open. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Now I can build it from the inside too. Brilliant. Eh, eh, eh. So much quicker when you're helping it. Gives you more areas for the nanites to work with. Oh no, I've run out of things, build. Doink, 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 doink. It already feels like the inside of a ship. Yar, the ship is. Oh no, I'm out. The ship is coming underway nicely. So much quicker. Uh. Wow, that is going a lot quicker. I should have just done this from the beginning. You know, I just realized a big problem with this. How does one supply gas to it? Um, it literally has no Atmo thrusters, so it's got no means of propulsion and thus no means of getting itself to the hydrogen deposit. Yeesh. Then again, I never put any plugs on the hydrogen deposit in the first place, so I haven't exactly built a space for it to land maybe maybe I can put like a temporary uh something or other for the for it to you know suck hydrogen up for now and then make a more permanent landing pad later I don't know I guess it's something I'll have to figure out when I actually finish construction and want to start flying this thing Huh, that's actually going along really nicely. I have no idea if I have enough resources for it, but it's going along nicely. And yes, if you want to know, this is airtight. I made it airtight. Uh, Geo originally had it, so that way it was more of a few cockpits crammed in with... I don't know if it was originally airtight, but you know, it wasn't really this. It was more of the actual uh, cockpit block itself, you know? But, you know, I'm like, 
I like my spaceships airtight. I like to be able to walk around in my spaceships. So I'm going to make it airtight. So yeah. Nice. What is it missing? It's missing. Holy crap, metal grids. Oh, I hate metal grids. What do I need for metal grids? Nickel and cobalt. I think I have enough of that. Cobalt. 8k cobalt. Is that enough? I don't know. 22k nickel. Well, that's definitely enough of that. Yeah, I swear 95% of the crashes so far appear to be in space. Either that or this game is just being really glitchy today. That's the second time it's crashed. Guess I won't be exploring that planet after all. Oh, wait, the asteroid I meant to say. Planet? What planet? I don't have access to no planets. Except for this one. I mean, yes, there, there's a planet that way, but there's no way I'm going to get to it. Uh, my ship would run out of fuel and explode. Um, yes, I can always go get some more resources from that, from that flying craft, because I need iron. Well, maybe I can tell it to build, spam me a whole bunch of those uh, gr metal grids that I need. What power does this have? Oh, still plenty. It's going to last ages. Although I better double check just in case. <laughs> Seven days. Oh, it's not going to run out anytime soon. Let's see. We need way more of those. Uh, boop. Did I want to build them? Uh, I don't know. Do I have nickel and cobalt? Uh, nickel? Wait, did, did I pinch all the nickel and cobalt? Cobalt? Huh, I must have pinched all the nickel and cobalt. Or at least all the nickel, at least. Dang. Unexpected. I don't want that. I wanted that. Ooh, I can take a lot of that. Yoink. Have I ran out of steel plates completely? I'd say yes. Well, you said just gotta let Tim deal with the rest, don't I? Damn, this is gonna be a while. Technically speaking, if I had lots of resources, it probably wouldn't take long to complete. Just that I didn't have enough, you know, pre constructed in base, so it is gonna take longer than it. Uh, you know, longer than necessary. Yeah. Sucks, but it can't be helped. Still, I think maybe this is what? 50% constructed? Let's go check the projector block. Oh, do they not have a... Oh, I have to go into here. A projector? Construction! Yeah, about 50% completed. Give or take. Not too bad. It needs lots of armor block steel at what? 25, uh, uh, 25 steel per block, that's a lot of steel. Hydrogen tank, 7. Hydrogen thrusters, eight. Large hydrogen thrusters, eight. Bear tubes, eight. Interior lights, eight. Windows, seven. Batteries, four. Conveyor tube, four. Catwalks, not too bad. Oxygen generators. Gyroscopes, uh, there are chewer of the steel. Camera, junction, spotlight, antenna, yeah. Windows, landing gear, con light, solar panels. Okay, it's pretty reasonable. Just lots and lots of steel that I'm not entirely sure if I have enough. I don't know. It's going good. It's going good. <laughs> Let's take a look at this one in comparison. Where did I leave that button? Uh, we got projector. This one is way more blocks. And has more blocks to complete. Just basically those just small reactors, antennas, 
gyroscopes and a crap ton of armor blocks. Which isn't too bad actually. Because how many um, beams of nanites does the nanite control factory have? Uh, nanite. Nanite control factory. It has... Uh... Seven construction streams. Active Nanite 66, but where's the... D does... Oh, construction is a repair. And projection is... Yeah, yeah. So nine maximum streams and seven maximum projections. At about nine every five seconds, ten seconds, it's going to take a while. But you know how it is. Can't be helped. Can't be helped. I guess that is the end of this episode. I'll probably use my spare time to get that solar panel up before daytime starts, you know. So that way I don't have to fight with it anymore. You know, I don't have to fight with power so much. Yeah. I, I would like to get black solar panels, but there's no way I'm going to be able to refine enough uh, uranium that quickly, even if I have enough in my base. No way I'm going to refine it that quickly with my two refineries. So I'll still have to resort to yellow, yellow ones. Luckily I pinched some yellow ones off my ship, and I, I think they'll cover half the cost the other half should be easy to cover you know not too bad so yeah it's, uh, by the time the next episode up i'll have that done and possibly even quite a large chunk of that done with how long it takes to you know manually build one of them what 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 did it take for me to uh, build that tower last time half an hour to 60 minutes i don't know by the time uh, by the time i'm done over there uh, one of these two should be mostly done right right I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button or share it with your friends. Otherwise, I'll see y'all next time. Bye! Wee, wee. Uh, boring. Uh, give us something good, please. I miss the good stuff, Keen. Where is the good stuff? I love thee. <laughs> Why do you keep all of the crack cocaine in the cupboard and not bring it out for the rest of us? <laughs>